Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Rook. If you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also make sure to ring the notification bell so you can be notified anytime I do upload a video. Today what I wanted to do is kind of a chill, laid back video. I wanted to talk about all the eyeshadow palettes that I don't own, but I want to. So these are 10 eyeshadow palettes that I haven't bought. Some of them are really old and I still want them. So it's all the palettes that I still want in my collection. I don't run out and buy every eyeshadow palette I want ever. I try to buy just the ones that I know I really, really want in my collection that are a little bit more unique. So a lot of these eyeshadow palettes, you'll see why I haven't purchased them because I definitely have a specific color story of eyeshadows I love. Eyeshadow palettes are my absolute favorite thing in my collection. I have close to 50 I think but these are 10 that I don't own. I did see someone do this. It was quite some time ago so I will try to find that video and have it linked down below. I believe it was Batty Bean but I will do a little research and then have that linked down below but I figured we would just kind of hang out, chill, talk about eyeshadow palettes and I will just tell you the ones that I want in my collection. So I am going to go ahead and move over because I'm going to have a picture pop up right here. So number one and number two are kind of a set, so I'm going to talk about them at the same time. They are the Shroud Cosmetics, the creepy, cute one and two. I think these are so cool looking. I really have gone into an all matte type eyeshadow. I love palettes that are all matte and then I can just grab a shimmer from anywhere else. I've really gotten into all matte eyeshadow looks where it's just all matte in the crease and then I just do a little bit of shimmer. These ones would be absolute perfect for that. I love the colors. They are definitely colors that scream to me. I love the blues and the greens, the little purples, the oranges. There's a really cute pink that's the strawberry milk up at the top. I really like these. I did see Batty Bean using both of these in a video. The looks she created were so cool and so unique. I definitely want to get both of them. I've had them in my cart multiple times. I think you can get a deal if you buy both of them at the same time. I will be buying those ones. I'll probably wait till fall or winter because that is when I wear the most eyeshadow. This is the most eyeshadow I've had on in quite some time. So I will be buying both of these, but not till probably more full time. The next eyeshadow palette is the Ace Butte Tropical Vibes eyeshadow palette. I love everything about this palette. I love the murky greens. I love the neons. If you can't tell, I absolutely love neon green and neon yellow. So this has both a neon green and a neon yellow. It has murky. It has this beautiful blue at the bottom corner that's called Shea Shells. I think this is absolutely stunning. The only reason I haven't bought this yet is because I love green eyeshadows. I have quite a lot. So I did just buy the, I have the Jeffree Star, the Blood Money. I do have the Beauty Bay Earthy palette that I just bought. It is what's on my lids. So I have a really hard time justifying another green eyeshadow palette, even though I wear greens all the time. I also have the Too Many from ColourPop. Uh, so I can't justify really buying another green eyeshadow palette. This one's absolutely stunning. I will add this into my collection. Just got to try to find it on sale or when I can actually justify buying it because I have so many green eyeshadow palettes. And at number three, for almost the exact same reason, is the Melt Gemini eyeshadow palette. First thing, I am a Gemini. I love anything Gemini kind of themed. Then on top of that, it's green and murky. I love this color story so much. It's absolutely stunning. It was sold out for the longest time, which is the only reason I hadn't bought it before. And then by the time it like re-came back in stock, I have the Earthy and the Jeffree Star Blood Money. So I have a hard time buying this. It's beautiful. I really like Milk Cosmetics Formula. I do have the Mary Jane eyeshadow palette. They are very intense metallics. The mattes are really beautiful and blendable. I will be buying this. Same thing, I'm kind of just waiting for it to go on sale. Sometime I can just grab it for a little bit of a cheaper price just because they are a little more expensive and I don't need another kind of murky green eyeshadow palette in my collection. But this is beautiful, it's Gemini, and I really like Melt's formula. But number five is a brand I don't have any eyeshadow palettes from. This is Give Me Glow Cosmetics. I do have a highlighter from them. I've wanted to try out any of their eyeshadow palettes. They're really, really stunning. So over the fall time last year, they did come out with the Bad Witch Club eyeshadow palette. This is so pretty. It has blues, greens, purples, some pinks. I think this is absolutely stunning. I love that it is a matte heavy eyeshadow palette and then it does just have the three metallics. That is like my ideal formula for an eyeshadow palette is majority matte and then a few really beautiful shimmers or metallics. I love metallics and shimmers, but I don't need that many normally for an eyeshadow look. I only use one. In the look today, I think I have 
one, two, three, four, four matte, and then I do have two metallics, a darker one, and then a lighter on top. That's kind of what I've been doing is a lot of mattes, a little metallics. This has the perfect combination. This is definitely more of a full time eyeshadow palette. I will get this as well. But I'm going to wait till Give Me Glow Cosmetics has kind of a sale on their website. I know they do sales quite often, so I'm going to wait till it's on sale, but I definitely want to pick that one up. Also, with Give Me Glow, their palettes go out of stock really fast, and then they don't come back into stock for a long time. And I did want to pick this one up. It was probably out of stock. I think this is a really beautiful eyeshadow palette. I definitely want to try their formula. I think it's going to be incredible. I am definitely more into indie brands than kind of the mainstream eyeshadow brands. So all of these palettes, except for maybe Melt, are independent brands. I really, really like it. I don't know if Melt's independent. Um, but I know all the other brands are. So at number six, this is a old, old eyeshadow palette that has been on my list longer than any of these other eyeshadow palettes. I think I don't know if I will actually spend the money on it, but I definitely want to talk about it because I've wanted it for so long. So this is the Nabla Secret Garden eyeshadow palette. I really, really liked this when it first came out. It was definitely a time where I was newer into eyeshadows. I wasn't as much into color like I am now. Like now, give me all the neon, give me the metallics, give me the striking, really bright colors. So this was before I felt that way. So I thought this was a really beautiful neutral eyeshadow that also had pops of color. The pinks at the top are really pretty. I've heard Play Hard, which is that like white metallic, is stunning. So I definitely want to try Nabla's formula. I love their bronzer and their blushes. I think those are beautiful formulas. They have a really beautiful powder formula. I definitely want to try Nabla. I would hope they would come out with some newer eyeshadow palettes. All their eyeshadow palettes are pretty old and I don't know if they've came out with anything new for a while. This one's really pretty. It's a little bit more basic than what I would spend money on, but I did want to talk about it because this is an eyeshadow palette that I've always thought about. I've always considered buying it. And then on Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, it always is on sale and I've always put it in my cart. I've just never bought it because it's not quite as special as I'm leaning towards for eyeshadow palettes now. Another brand that I don't own any eyeshadow palettes from, but I want literally every single eyeshadow palette they come out with. This is Nomad Cosmetics and this one is the Paradise Palette. I think this is absolutely stunning. This is like my most ideal summer eyeshadow palette. The top row of like corally pinky oranges, the middle row of the chartreuse, the green, the blue, the bottom row of the periwinkle and the purples and the shimmery blues. This is absolutely beautiful. I really love the layout. I love the artwork of this palette as well. I think that's so beautiful. I definitely would pick this eyeshadow palette up. I'm actually shocked I didn't pick it up over the summer but I am trying not to buy as many eyeshadow palettes this is definitely one I will be buying because I think it's absolutely beautiful I did try Nomad's blush palette and it's my favorite blush formula ever they're super matte and pigmented so I'm really excited to try their eyeshadows I think they're gonna be beautiful this one is absolutely stunning and then a close second from Nomad Cosmetics is the Haunted Europe palette this is so cool i really love the color combination of this it's definitely screams kind of haunted fall autumn halloween type colors i love the oranges the greens there is a beautiful shimmer green it's called mary cemetery it's at the very bottom it's super pretty i love the more neutral kind of transition colors around this one purple side of the palette. I think those look really nice. This is also a really nice eyeshadow palette I could see myself picking up for the fall time. I think it's really pretty. Really want to try the Nomad Cosmetics formula. I think also the Nomad Whistler palette is really pretty. The American Parks is really pretty. Honestly, any of the palettes from Nomad I would love to pick up. I definitely think my favorites are the Paradise palette or the Haunted Europe, but really any of them I would pick them up. I would be really cool if they had a vault. I would buy all of them. I think I'm going to love the formula. I've heard incredible things about it. Definitely want to try one of their eyeshadow palettes. The next one is the most frustrating. I have wanted to pick this up. I have tried to pick it up three times. They've restocked and every time they've restocked, it sells out so fast. The first time it was ever released, the website was down within five minutes. This is the Cosmic Brushes Serenity Palette. I know I've talked a lot about I have so many green eyeshadow palettes. I don't need any more. I need this one in my life. I wanted it the day it would release. I did see Angelica. I think her last name is Nygar. I will have her channel linked down below. She did a review on this eyeshadow palette. She has the same taste in eyeshadows as I do. Really bright and colorful. She rarely does like a neutral look. She tried this out. I had never heard of Cosmic Brushes. and She had never heard of Cosmic Brushes. It was sent to her. She tried it out. She loved it. I want to try this eyeshadow palette so 
badly. It's quite frustrating because they sell out really fast. I do know that they are a small independent brand, but they sell out so fast. It's so frustrating. I want this eyeshadow palette so much. The metallics look beautiful. I love the neon um, green at the top, the coral, the chartreuse green, the beautiful purples, the periwinkle. This is absolutely stunning. Dunning. This is number one of eyeshadow palettes I will own. It will be the next eyeshadow palette in my collection. If I can just get my hands on it, I want it so badly. When I get it, I will do a review. I think it's the newest eyeshadow palette of all the ones I want. Still kind of relevant here on YouTube, but I definitely want to pick that one up. It looks stunning, and I cannot wait to try that formula. Another brand I have never tried, honestly, like my top want to try brands or give me glow, Nomad and then Menagerie. So this is number nine, and I wanna try this brand so bad. This is Menagerie Cosmetics. This is the really super adorable Sugar High eyeshadow palette. It has a um, sugar glider, which I think is so cute, and the eyeshadow colors are beautiful right up my alley. I love the metallics. I feel like this is a little bit more on the dark side for kind of fall and winter. I think it's really pretty. I will say I don't really see anything super dark for like depth. But I think it's really beautiful. I would love to try out the formula. Metallics look stunning in this picture. I definitely would love to try the Menagerie formula and the Sugar High palette is super cute. I also want to try the Pastel Pup palette. Um, it is an all matte pastel palette. I think it looks beautiful, but the Sugar High palette is definitely a top of my list of ones I want to try out. And coming in at number 10 of eyeshadow palettes, I still want. This is the Glam Light. This is the Ice Cream Dreams eyeshadow palette. I love this. This looks so nice. I've never tried a Glam Light eyeshadow palette. I have wanted to try one for a very long time. This one is the one I've wanted more than any of the other eyeshadow palettes I've seen come out. I think this is beautiful. I love that there are such light metallics, really beautiful pastels, kind of the same colors in all the other palettes, pastels, neons. Beautiful, beautiful tones. Really want to try this. I also want to try the Glam Light Martini palette for the exact same reason as the Ace Butte Tropical Vibes and the Gemini palette. I just cannot justify another green eyeshadow palette, and that one of all of the green eyeshadow palettes is what I want the least. But this Ice Cream Dream palette looks absolutely stunning, and I would love to pick this up. I definitely will if I find it on sale. There are all 10 eyeshadow palettes that I've wanted for so long. That is pretty much the end of my wish list. I don't have a ton on my wish list, which is kind of shocking, but I do pick out eyeshadow palettes pretty specifically if they really speak to me. So those are the 10 I would love to have in my collection. I hope this was fun. I just wanted to do a really laid back, chill, just talk about makeup video. I haven't done a ton of those recently. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and I will catch you on the next one. Bye guys.